So today we're doing a quick brine for smoking chum salmon. This is as easy as it gets. If you're just starting off, I highly recommend starting off with this. It's going to be brown sugar, kosher white salt. This is not table salt. It is uh, uh, kind of like a crystallized, not your iodized salt, coarse salt. That's the one you want. And I'm going to try some maple syrup to base on it. But these are the two main ones here, brown sugar and uh, salt. And really, the measurements are, it's not exact, but what I usually do is I do four parts brown sugar, one part salt. So if I'm doing four cups of brown sugar, I'm going to do one cup of salt. You know, or if you're doing, you know, you, you do the math. And there's also some brown sugar here, or brown sugar, some maple syrup. Uh, but we're just going to keep it real simple. I'm going to show you how we do it, how we cut up this, the, the salmon. And uh, for chum, this is the best way to do it. I think chum salmon smoked is better than any other salmon out there. I mean, as far as table fare, chum is regarded as the worst. But when it comes to smoking, they are the best, in my opinion. But we'll walk you through it and see how she goes. So my buddies and I, three of them, three of us all together, we went out yesterday and we got our limit of chum salmon this knife is not that sharp um, so that means for three of us we had two per person so we had six and we got some really nice chum really nice um, so I've I cleaned them I spent last night just cleaning them up I didn't take out the bones so I'm just gonna take out the bones but uh, what I'm going to do is just cut them all up and I'm going to put them in there and get ready for the marinade But I'm going to clean them up as well I'll rinse them and pat them dry. You'll see the meat is a little bit almost pink You can tell that's a that's a really that's a good healthy chum It hasn't the meat hasn't deteriorated see the lining up here see the difference between this fish and the last one There's that dark line in the meat there doesn't exist. So this meat is prime. This is gonna be a great smoking salmon right here so what I like to do is just usually just do one line, like, I don't know, an inch, inch and a quarter down here. And it depends on how thick the fish is. But uh, like if we have a really wide fish, maybe we'll do three strips. Uh, for this one, I think we're just gonna do two. Uh, so just one, well, maybe just one right down the middle and then just half it or put it into three. So that's kind of the idea. and red that is beautiful chum sound right there little fat content this is gonna grow this is gonna go great that's like I mean some of it compared it you can you can see the, the difference in the meat um, from a good salmon to one that's starting to color up a bit like here's some differences see look at that good one not as good see it's a little more whiter this one's a little more pinker see that difference this is still going to be good, but just goes to show you, you know, as the meat starts to deteriorate a little bit. Tell like the, the quality of that fish. See the belly? See how white it is? You don't see any black on it? You can see a little red in the meat? That is a good looking chum right there. That is a good looking chum. I haven't even cleaned that yet. There's some blood and slime on it. That looks good. That's what you want. Alright, so just continue to process this fish. This is another really nice one. You can see a lot of the red. Uh, you can just tell it's just another nice chum. Like it's nice red meat. Um, and you know, you can see the back here. Pretty clean. This is not a colored up fish by any stretch. The bellies weren't even black. They're pretty white, silvery blue. Really nice. This is going to be great. Okay, so I have a cup and a half of kosher salt. I put a cup and a half of that, so I have six cups of brown sugar, which has already been tossed in there. So I'm just starting to mix the process. So I'm just going to keep adding this. So as you can see, this is a pretty big, 
pretty big plastic container. You don't want to mix this in an aluminum. You want it in a plastic base so it doesn't take on any of those weird flavors. So this is just going to be the brine we're going to add on top of the salmon, which is going to suck the moisture out of the fish. All right, now we're just going to layer these. I've got a ton of other uh, things to add here. So I'm just going to coat these and then I'm going to add more fish on top. I just want to make sure that these are getting a good brining. Not even a, a minute and it's already starting to soak it up. See how it's melting already and it's turning into juice? And I'm going to leave that. I'm going to still fill these up completely to the top with all this. There's still a lot of fish in here. I'm going to fill those up, cut it up, and we're going to leave that overnight. So, brining process tonight, I'm going to keep turning those and make sure the, they're not sticking together. Um, because if the fish, the, the skin is sticking together, and you don't, you don't turn it around, it'll actually, uh, it'll stick together. It doesn't really help the whole process. Also mandatory, make sure you got your favorite, uh, Netflix show on the background. Right now mine is Meat Eater. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's awesome. There it is. So now I'm going to put the plastic container on. It's going to go in the fridge and it's going to go in there for the rest of the evening. So it's three o'clock. We'll pick it up in the morning sometime and maybe start the brining or sorry, the smoking process early tomorrow morning. Chum is, the brine is almost like a fluid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep turning that. Uh, I've turned it once already. I'm going to turn it once more and then let it sit for the rest of the night. Is this a lot of fish? Yeah. Lots of fish. We barely scratched the surface here. I'm going to dry this out. So what's going to happen is this is going to get really kind of a bit of a film and develop a bit of a layer on top there that's a little hard. And that's really important in the smoking process because it'll hold in the moisture as it's smoking. Okay, now I just put the uh, trays inside there now. And as you can see, I'm using the Big Chief and took about four, just over four Big Chum all together. So um, when you're using a Big Chief, just keep that in mind. chips fill it up to the top round two it usually takes about 45 minutes to do each smoke and I like to do two of them See, the meat has been baking for about 10 hours. So I'm going to put a little bit more maple syrup, just coat it, and I'm going to pull it out in about 15-20 minutes. 
So here we have the final product. I have five bags full of smoked chum salmon with a couple of different approaches. Pretty simple. I mean, the brine was pretty close to the same. This one, um, I made just a sweet brine where I did more brown sugar than salt. A significant, like quite a bit more. Um, the rest were the same sort of brine. It was that three to one ratio I've said so many times, but I did a little less maple syrup. So here I just did maple syrup once, this one as well, and then these last two I coated with maple syrup twice. So give them a try and see which one I like best and just kind of figuring out my, my own personal approach. And I think that's the way to do it is to uh, play around with this and see what you, what you like and work on some different brines. I hope this video was informative and uh, yeah, if you have any other questions on smoked chum or anything like that or smoking any salmon, feel free to go to bcfishingjournal.com or send me an email on there. And that's it for this episode. Hope it was helpful for you. See you guys later.